Hey guys, Corey here from Sky's the Limit Car Care and today we're going to talk about Merino wool mitts. We're going to tell you a little bit about where the Merino wool mitt excels. We're going, also going to discuss the best tips and tricks for keeping it looking new and keeping it well maintained. We're also going to give you another option, more modern synthetic option, for those that this mitt might not be right for. Stick around to find out more. All right, guys, so first let's start off with what is the merino wool mitt. A merino wool mitt, uh, obviously the word wool, this comes from, this is an actually a natural material. This comes from a sheep. Um, the one that CarPro has that we're showing you here, this has a mesh backing, um, which allows the water to evaporate a lot better. Most merino wool mitts is a full merino skin all the way around. And with those types of mitts, generally it can get really um, kind of mildewy and rotty inside of the mitt. So that's why we don't, we don't personally prefer that type of mitt, but the one with the mesh back that Carper does, you don't have that issue. But we are going to dis discuss some of the other issues and challenges that you might have with a merino wool, how to overcome those and some other options. So uh, obviously because this is a natural um, material, when it comes to us, um, we double check it. It does go through a lot of processes um, before it reaches us. Um, when they're ma manufacturing the mitt and doing their quality control, they steam it, they do a bunch of things to make it nice and clean and not have stuff in there. But because it's a natural product, you can end up with little burrs and stuff sometimes in the, in the fur. There's possible one could still have gotten in there. So what we do before we ship it to you, we pull it out, we double check it really quick, we put it back in and we ship it out. But what I would suggest is if anytime you buy a merino wool mitt of any kind, is to just run your hands through there and make sure there's not a seed or something that somehow got you know got uh, left behind in that fur, so that's that's number one. That's what a merino wool mitt is, and some of the quick checks that you get uh, that you want to do when you receive it. Um, next up, we're going to talk a little bit how to maintain this mitt and keep it looking brand new. Um, I have behind me right here one that is in a little bit worse condition. It hasn't been brushed uh, probably a few times. Um, they can be a lot worse than this. If you don't follow the tips that I'm gonna give you, then this will become far worse than what you see here. And then I also have another one that's a lot older that has been maintained really well. And you can see how, while it's not gonna look exactly the same, it's pretty nice and soft, well, it's extremely soft and fluffy, but it's pretty straight, just like that one is. And it's extremely thick, soft, and, um, and that's, uh, that's exactly what you want it to do. So the reason that we use merino wool mitts is because they're so soft. On sensitive paint or on uh, really sensitive surfaces when we're washing that with microfiber, generally you have a lot higher likelihood of scratching it with most microfibers than you do with a merino wool. So that's where a merino wool comes in really handy because it's so soft. Uh, one of the other options that we're going to discuss today, that is the Microfiber Madness Deli Pad. And that is the only other option that we've found on the market that has the ability to have that same super soft surface for soft paints. It's designed specifically for that. It's a one of a kind microfiber surface that they use. And uh, it doesn't have the downside of the maintenance things that we're gonna talk about today. So as far as maintenance goes, um, what you want to get to properly maintain your Merino wool mitt is a dog brush. So you don't need this side, all you need is the wire side. Um, and the care that goes into this is it basically goes like this. You take your, you say you got your brand new Merino wool mitt, you uh, go, you wash your car, you go through all the steps that we have as far as properly washing your car, you're done. Now you, you've got soap and maybe still some dirt in your mitt. You rinse that out. The best thing to, the best way to rinse a Merino wool mitt out is to plunge it in your bucket rather than just spraying it with a hose where the dirt's gonna stick to the fibers. You plunge it in and plunge it up and it's gonna pull the dirt off those fibers each time you pull it up like that in your rinse bucket. So after you've done that, you, obviously you're gonna be using that method as you go around the car. Once you're all done, you're gonna do that again with brand new clean water. Get all the water and dirt out or get all the soap and dirt out. And then you're just gonna squeeze that mitt like that, squeeze it, all the water out and then just give it a little shake like this as much as you can. After that, you're gonna put it in a nice dry area um, where there's no dust and dirt or and it's not downloaded to the ground where people will kick dirt up onto it accidentally. Put it up on a nice drying rack, preferably and let it dry out. Once it's dry, you don't want it to end up looking like this. So once it's dry, you're going to take your brush, and this might be, you know, two, three, four days later, doesn't matter, a week later, doesn't really matter at all, and then you just take your brush, and then you're just going to 
brush it out like that. You just a little bit gently at first to get some of the tangles off the top. And then once you get that out, you can give it, you can come back and give it a, get a little bit deeper into the, into the fibers there. And as you can see, that is just pulls those right out. Now this is perfectly normal. You're going to lose some fur like, like that. Um, that's because this is a natural material. I mean, this is just part of the, uh, part of the process. And over time, eventually this is going to wear out. It's again, a natural material. It's not going to last forever, but with proper maintenance, you can keep it looking good and working good. More importantly, for a very, very long time. Um, uh, if that's a little bit too much work for you and that's not something you're interested in, then Microfire Madness has actually come up with an amazing design called the Deli Pad and the Deli Mitt. And these are designed specifically for soft paints, the same things that the Merino Mitt uh, work well for. The difference is these are synthetic, they're made out of microfiber, but they're made out of very special microfiber, a lot softer than any other microfiber mitt you'll find on the market. And then of course, since they're Microfire Madness quality, um, they're going to rinse out really easily. You can spray them out with a hose uh, and they're going to last for years. Uh, you don't have to brush them, anything like that. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope this video is helpful to some of you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. We'll be happy to help you out with that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do so. And of course, you know we're always there for you. Just give us a dial on the phone or email us at any time and we'll be looking forward to helping you. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.